News from that fire last week during a multi vehicle pileup on Highway 1 in Santa Cruz. Today, the family of a man who was pulled from that burning car came together to say thank you to the rescuers who saved his life. Action News reporter Phil Gomez tonight with their exclusive story. God bless you. For privacy reasons, the family of the injured man requested that we only use their first names. With Thanksgiving just around the corner, the victim's mother, Gloria, had much to be thankful for as she hugged Bob Woodleaf and John Thompson, the men who saved his life. It's just... It's amazing because instead of planning Thanksgiving dinner, we could have been planning a funeral. We learned that 40-year-old Raphael is a retired Marine. He works in construction. He was on his way to work when his car was struck from behind and pushed 150 yards by a big rig truck before the car burst into flames. Raphael was severely injured. He suffered broken bones, a fractured spine, and a head injury. He has no recollection of what happened. Ralph was passed out and he came to in the helicopter and all he kept saying when he was in the hospital is was it my fault was it my fault please tell me it wasn't my fault that was why I had such a hard time getting him out Robert and John shared with the family how they were able to get Raphael out of his burning car having difficulty cutting through the seat belt they borrowed a knife from Jose Gonzalez to make the final cut and release Raphael Robert and John risked their lives to save a life, and Raphael's family wanted to meet them in person to let them know how much their efforts meant. You know, I'd do it again if I had to. No, not a doubt in my mind. I could check my hair a little more, wear a hair net or something, or a pack. Got an update on his dad. It looks like he's um, he's he's, uh, he's going to make it. He's going to be okay. Um, you know, he's got a lot of lot of uh, a lot of damage. You know, he took a lot of hits, um, but. Um, I'm just so happy. One more thing, as a result of our original interview with Robert and John, Robert's niece was able to contact her uncle, whom she hasn't seen in four and a half years, and they have now reunited. Raphael couldn't be here today, but he insisted that his family come out and say thank you to Robert and John. But eventually, he plans to meet both men and say thank you. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8.